Let's move on to the magnetic induction along the axis of a circular coil carrying current. Let us consider a circular coil of radius A with the current I, P is the point along the axis of the coil at a distance X from the center O of the coil. AB is a infinitely infinitesimally a small element of length DL. C is the midpoint of AB and C P is equal to R. According to Biot-Savet law, the magnetic induction at point P to the element DL is, is considered as dB is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into I into DL sin theta by R square. It's nothing but your Biot-Savet law. Considering if the angle theta is equal to 90 degree, it will become sin theta is equal to 1. So dB equal to mu naught into by 4 pi into I into DL by R square. So the direction of dB is perpendicular to the current element I into DL and CP. It is therefore along PR. Because this is 90 degree here. Considering the diagram diagrammatically opposite element A dash B dash, the magnitude of dB at P due to this element is the same as AB, but its direction is along PM, this line. Let the angle between the axis of the coil and the line joining the element GL and the point B will become alpha. So the dB or magnetic induction is resolved into two components dB sin alpha which is along OP and dB cos alpha which is perpendicular to OP. Since uh, dB cos alpha will which is of opposite direction, it will cancel each other. But as dB sin alpha components get added up, the magnetic induction at P due to the entire coil is given by B is equal to 0 to 2 pi A dB sin alpha. As you know from the biot savet law, dB is equal to mu naught into I into DL by R square. Since angle is 0, so sin theta is 1. Into A by R, which is a sin alpha. As you know, R square is equal to A square plus X square. Substituting the values here, A square plus X square for R square. For R, it's A square plus X square into 1 by R. So, it will become A square plus X square into a square plus x square half, it will become a square plus x square power 3 by 2. Since the integration is involved with this DL, is separated out here. Which is equal to 2 pi A. 
So a and a here is a square and this one then this one will get cancelled to and pi and pi will get cancelled. So the total induction is mu naught by 2 into i a square divided by a square plus x square power 3 by 2. So this is the equation which we receive. If the coil contains n turns, the current is become n to i. And this is the final equation with n turns. At the center of the coil x is equal to 0. Which indicates you will be getting mu naught into n into i into a square divided by 2 into a cube. a cube and a square will get cancelled and it will become 2a. This is the final equation and this is the magnetic induction which is created at the center of the coil.